Well, this morning, a new survey is shedding some light on how supply chain issues and staffing shortages are affecting small businesses across the country, including here in Connecticut. Yeah, Fox 61's Angelo Bavaro joins us live in Simsbury this morning to break down the results. Hey, Angelo. Hey guys, good morning. So these small businesses definitely feeling that struggle right now. Owners who participated in this survey say those supply chain issues, they're affecting nearly every product or raw material you can think of. Everything from food and restaurants all the way down to paper cups at your favorite coffee spot. Inside the coffee spot in downtown Simsbury, coffee is not the only thing brewing this morning. I'm hopeful. Um, like I said, I hope it doesn't impact me too much. You can also add some feelings of uncertainty to the mix for owner Amy Sheehan, courtesy of supply chain issues. The only thing I've been running into is just the staffing issues at the food distributors. Sometimes the truck isn't, you know, they don't have a driver for the truck. Um, and then some of the supplies, some of the foods I order might be out for several weeks. So there's a lot of issues impacting the supply chain right now, from the port closures to um, the trucking and transportation industry, the logistics industry uh, has a shortage of workers and that is impacting goods getting from point A to point B. Andy Murkowski is the Connecticut State Director for the National Federation of Independent Business. The Small Business Advocacy Organization just released its latest COVID-19 impact survey based on responses from more than 600 business owners including some in Connecticut. I think the, the biggest thing is, you know, nearly half of small business owners think that the supply chain is having a significant impact right now, um, and that has increased over the last several months. And it's not only supply chain issues that are causing concern. About a quarter of small employers surveyed are currently experiencing a significant staffing shortage, and another 22% are experiencing a moderate shortage. Well, we've been looking for help since July and have not been able to find any help as of yet. Melissa Brett at Weldon Hardware calls the supply chain issues and staffing shortages a double whammy for small businesses. We always are planning six to 12 months anyway in our business, but now it's the unknown. How do we plan not knowing what our staffing is going to look like, what our sales are going to be like in the next six to 12 months? And the bigger picture here is that these small businesses did report a decrease in economic confidence from last month compared to this month. And not only that, but that uncertainty is expected to last into the new year. So coming up in the next hour, we are going to talk about how these businesses are adjusting in the face of these challenges. We are live in Simsbury this morning. I'm Angela Bavar, Fox 61 News.